I won't lie. I do miss Leviathan. It wasn't his fault that I was a parasite. But was he necessary at all? After being cast out, was devolution in his stomach the appropriate next step? Why couldn't I have simply washed ashore to the old city? Perhaps Leviathan existed for me to discover him, even if that which I explored was my prison. Perhaps I simply needed to see the stagnation before evolving. When I was a child, I was given a rowboat. I wanted to sail, so the universe built me a galleon. How unfortunate that, when I got older, I no longer wished to explore. I am going to explore again. I'm going to board my vessel and sail into an unknown world to dream all the more. I'll leave this dream behind to feel the sand of other shores in my hand and let it loose as I travel inward towards newness. First, however, I'll make one last dive into abyss. Here lies my captor, the great sleeping fish. My foundation's been disintegrated. I'm left with nothing but void. However, the baby of belief need not be thrown out with the bathwater of certainty. An assertion from an assumption is still an assertion, making any deduction from that foundation subject to critique. I may not be able to deduce from a place that I know to be true, but that which I deduce from my dreams must still be compatible with itself. I think I was wrong. Dover isn't where my dreams died. It's where one dream took over. I dreamt that I had no dreams. I dreamt that Dover smothered my belief with certainty. In truth, a truth that I cannot know, Dover ran red. The dream of realism created a monopoly of comfortable stagnation that held me hostage until I could do nothing but cling to Leviathan's innards for safety. My belief was not truly killed, it was captured. One belief was deemed more true than another, and I convinced myself that I was correct. I convinced myself that I could be correct. What if this dream's monopoly was disintegrated? What if I could explore a multiplicity of dreams, never quite knowing which ones are a reality? Truth must be compatible with itself, but what happens when truth is unattainable?
The Dweller's dreams could function within themselves, from their foundation, as long as the factions recognize that foundation as a dream. What point would there be in conflict if the dreams cannot truly be controlled? They have their dreams and they cannot assert which is superior. So why not sail? Solomon saw the illusion for what it was. He saw that the lack of dreams was a dream itself. His downfall was in his pessimism, however. He saw the manifesting process of dreams to be too slow. But of course it is, my dear Solomon. The dreams will never manifest in our lifetime, but that's where they have their worth. The dream, the ideal, is an object whose grasp should never be fully achieved. It is in the desire for the object that our true desire should lie. We should desire to desire, and in presenting the ideal to a fallen world, we will make incremental steps towards perfection as the eschaton approaches. One giant leap for a man, one small step for mankind, Solomon. I would tell myself that the real world has shown itself like a clear blue sky, spotless in its vast and flat nature. I tricked my own mind into believing that belief itself was not present. Now that the illusion has been revealed, I'm left believing that I can't know. Truth must be compatible with itself based on a starting point I can't prove. I can't assert which dream is not a dream at all because they're all just dreams. Why not discover the dreams I can't control, rather than hiding portions of them away to let what I was certain of flourish?
One last look at my cage. One last dive into the abyss of negativity. A terrible world full of terrible people, yes, but that can be changed. Epistemic humility can regress to the deconstruction of stagnation. What I previously thought to be stagnation itself, the lack of any true knowledge, is simply the deconstruction of an anchor, freeing us to traverse the unexplored. I swam the depths. I confronted the bottom of the redemptive check mark. I was far more negative than those who still cling to certainty, but that's part of the progression. It's part of the broken progression. In this respect, we cannot improve without first deconstructing. Now, all that's left is to rise to the surface, board my vessel, and set sail for a new and terrifyingly uncertain world. The old city has called, and I wish that more would have the bravery to join me on my journey.